Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a grey cool toned with a pop of blue smoky eye. So I posted a photo on my community tab a couple of days ago. It was with my dog Kiwa and someone actually asked if I could share this look on YouTube. So this is the video today. I am going to grab my palette. I'm gonna use the Carnival Interstellar palette, going into the grey tones of this. I have done a rainbow look with this palette before but yeah, the grey tones in this are just divine. I'm also going to take a shadow topper as well. This is the Odin's Eye Jewel Shine Shadow Singles. So yeah, if you want to see how I do my cool toned smoky eye with a pop of blue, then make sure you carry on watching, hit subscribe, join my makeup Patreon for like, I'll leave that in the description box. But yeah, without further ado, let's go. I'm gonna pop on some primer now. This is the Revolution Conceal and Fix Mattifying Primer. I'm gonna focus this primer just around my nose area, on my nose. I'm still trialing out this product. This is a new primer in my collection. I am not a huge fan of how it feels. It does feel very slicky on the skin. I am getting used to the texture. It's taken a couple of times to get used to it, but I'm liking the effect it's giving. I would say it does blur out pretty well. I'm gonna prime with the Beauty Bay Eye Base today. Cool tone eyeshadow I've been really loving lately. I'd probably say towards the end of 2022 and the start of 2023, I've been really delving into some cool tones. And this palette has definitely helped me to love cool tones, especially this section here. So I'm gonna start off with the shade First Man, this dark gray tone here. I'm just gonna pack that on on the outer corner for now. Look how pigmented that is, it's, it's crazy. So I'm just going to tap that on the out corners until I can't get any more product from my brush. I'm also going to put that on the lower lash line as well, just on the out corner. I'm using Zoeva brush and a Morphe brush. I'm going to get the shade next to it called Odyssey, which is a lot lighter than First Man. I'm just going to blend out First Man shade with this Odyssey shade. Odyssey. Odyssey shade. Next shade I'm going to go into this really pale light grey, it's called Misty Moon. With a What's Up Beauty brush, it's very fluffy, it's the R103. I'm going to lightly dust this across my brow bone. This is a good shade to diffuse all the darker, deep shades from this section. Okay, now I'm going to go for some blue, I'm going to use this Martian shade. This shade is stunning on the lid and it looks so nice next to greys. I'm going to use this new brush I got from Shein. It doesn't have a name, but it's this really flat brush. Yeah, that picks up pretty well. I'm gonna spray the brush because it will just give off a lot more pigment. So I'm gonna use the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Mist Spray. You can use any spray really. And then I'm gonna place this just on top of the lid where there's a gap. Look how bright that is. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna put some black eyeshadow because I really wanna deepen it up even more. So I'm gonna take a dark side. This black is very pigmented. I very much prefer this black in this palette than the black in the XL Pro. The XL Pro, it's like a gray. I don't know, it's, it's not as pigmented as this. It picks up so well with a brush, but yeah, I'm just going to fluff that on the out edge. Like sometimes I gotta wipe it off because it's that pigmented. I've just gotta like calm down with it. I'm also going to take that black on the lower lash line as well. Okay, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in the shade Verushka Vish Mink. It looked quite grey tone and I thought it could go with this look. I almost forgot, but in this look I did use the Earthbound shade, this really minty green here. And I popped this in the inner corner because I really like how bright this green is. I'm gonna hop into this palette now. This is the Odin's Eye Jewel Shine Single Shadows. I am going to go into this blue. If I remember correctly, this blue shade is called Daniel. Yeah, it's called Daniel. This shade is my favorite shade. Also the name of my boyfriend. So again, with that same brush, I'm gonna take this shade, Daniel. Um, I'm gonna lay it on top of the lid with the Martian shade and it just tops it up so nicely. Like. This is the sort of blue that I want. And it's given. These shadows are so shiny looking, I love it. 
Okay, now I'm going to do some eyeliner. This is my all-time favorite eyeliner. This is the KV Tattoo Liner. It's just well-behaved, this eyeliner. It's everything what I need in an eyeliner. It's not too runny. It's not watery. It's super fine felt tip pen. Really good at making short wings. Okay, this side I'm going to use the Be Perfect Inked Liquid Eyeliner. I just want to make use of that as product and also i have to use a different brush because that brush is mangled i can't wait for this product i'm gonna bin this crap don't get me wrong i liked it at first because the brush was very smooth but that is just disgraceful like what the frick do you call that it is a really poor design though that is um we're back here are the eyes i also added an inner corner liner using the same eyeliner okay so this product's a new in my collection and i'm liking it straight away as soon as i got it this is the colourpop snow white lippy scrub i love myself some lip treatment but the reason why i like this is because it's not only a lip scrub it also moistures your lips as well so this is what it looks like it's in such a cute packaging in the comes in this really cute packaging i love the concept of it it's divine if you love apples you're gonna love this trust me when you do have this try your best not lick your lips because you're gonna get chat lips i'm gonna use this be perfect i can see radiant glow it is recent in my collection i'm on the radiant glow train after the collection one came out after the elf one came out they all came from the charlotte tilbury filter glow i like to use this mixed in my foundation but today i'm just going to show you what it looks like without mixing it in i've got in the shade a light to medium number two i have this shade because i like a bit of i want to see the glow a bit more i don't want to be too glowy today I want to go for a demi matte look but i just wanted to show you what it looks like but today i'm going to use two foundations i'm going to use the l'oreal inflammable pro matte cover so hopefully this foundation can make this glowiness a bit more tame i'm also going to mix this foundation in with the catrice cosmetics true skin hydrating foundation in shade neutral sand i think i like this foundation but the colour of it really puts me off. I don't like the shade. It's in the shade True Beige. I find it on my skin tone. It looks quite peachy, but a bit too peachy. So yeah, I'm not happy with the shade choice that I've chosen. I never get my shade right. I think we can all relate to that. It's so hard choosing a foundation shade. I do like these two foundations together though. That's good. So for my colour correction, I'm going to use the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Teach and Peach one dot under my eye i like doing this because it does make my concealer have more coverage i'm just gonna go into my concealer this is the tarte shape tape concealer i've got in the shade 12 and i'm just gonna put one dot for now okay now i'm gonna do some liquid contour this is the sheer glam sun sculpt liquid contour in the shade golden beach no golden sun not golden beach I'm going to put two dots there, two dots there, one dot on the forehead. What do I do now? I have lost trailer four. Okay, I'm going to use this today. This is the... I don't think that's going to go right. I might go into this. This is the Made by Mitchell Blush Apricot Heart. Um, would this go? Should we just see? One dot. Ooh, I kind of like it. You need one dot of these. Oh, I like. I'm gonna put a bit on my nose there as well. Oh, I like that shade. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit of powder. This is the Revolution Lace Powder. I'm just gonna use my I Heart Revolution Pineapple Brush. And then whatever's left, I'm gonna use just a powder puff go over my complexion okay now for some highlighter i'm going to go in this maybe no so for my highlighter today i'm going to use the i Heart revolution tasty peach i feel like this could go nice no i know i think this deserves to come out this is the i Heart revolution highlighter tasty watermelon i thought of this because it's blue and i'm wearing blue today so that we're going for it i'm going to spray my face first with the benefit professional Pore setter, pore setter, super setter. So this is what it looks like. Going for a blue highlighter. I 
I am going to do my brows off camera. I'm going to do a TikTok brow routine. So hop on over there if you want to see it. My TikTok's more to say one, two, three. I used to really enjoy this. This is the Revlon Color Stay Longwear Lip Liner. I've got in the shade Nude. And I'd say this is quite on the cool side. So I feel like it would go with this eye look. And it is a retractable, so you can't sharpen it. It just goes up and down. But yeah, I, but yeah, I used to use this a lot all the time. I used to wear it on a night out a lot, this lip liner. And I eventually finished it up. It's It'll be in my empties soon. So I had to go out and buy it again. I'm going to put this on. This is the iHeart Revolution Tasty Peach Lip Gloss in the shade Bell Bellini. I think this might go okay. Because it also goes with that peach blush. These are also my favourite lip glosses from my Hot Revolution. The Tasty Peach range. It just dries down like a satin. I'm going to try out these lashes now. These lashes are from Shein. They look so nice and petite. They're those half lash and they're quite fluttery on the ends. So hopefully this can give a nice cat eye look. I feel like these are too natural. I'm going to put my mega lashes on and be right back. Mega Lashes Style Daisy, I've got a fresh pair to get out. Okay, I'm back. I found a new favourite brow product. Um, I tested this out on my TikTok. This is the NYX Brow Glue. I actually got this gifted along with some other products from NYX. I got gifted the Micro Brow Pencil, the Lift and Snatch. By the way, these are my two color grails in my brown makeup routine. I absolutely love these two products. I just never tried this one before. Yeah, I really like that. I think I prefer it over my Benefit 24 hour setter. I also got this as well. This is the brow glue again, but in the shade taupe. I might try that on a different video, but I'm happy I got these. These I truly love and I've got backups now. So I'm like, well, happy about that. So here's the finished look. I absolutely love it. It's giving me Cinderella smoky vibes. There's some products that have definitely stood out to me in this video and that is the Colourpop Lippy Scrub. I absolutely love apple. It's one of my favourite fruits. I try to have it every day and having this in my life just makes it even more better. This Conceal and Fix, I feel like this is going to be more of a grower. I'm still getting used to the texture. However, I do believe it does where it says it does mattify your pores it does soften them it does blur them out so i'll give it that i just need to get used to that silicone texture this foundation is new to my collection i do like it i just need to get a different shade speaking of foundations i've got a new foundation on the way i ordered the new be perfect chroma luminous foundation so i'm so excited for that but yeah, that's my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this makeup look. It's giving me grunge Cinderella. She's coming out to play. But yeah, I really like these two eyeshadow palettes. The Carnival and Sistel. If you haven't got it and you want some rainbow in your life, that is such a good palette to get. Um, the Odin's Eye Single Shadows. If you've never tried Odin's Eye Formula, you will not be let down. Like, this is so unique. I, I don't have anything like that in my collection. Um, I don't have a lot of indie brand makeup, but that is definitely something different in my collection. So I really like that. But yeah, I'm going to go now. If you did like this video do give big thumbs up to help my channel out and of course if you don't want to miss out on future vids makeup tutorials hit subscribe button down below i also have a makeup patreon as well so if you'd like to join i'll leave that down below and yeah i hope you have a lovely day now time watching this and i shall see you in the next one bye